Many of us like to think of ourselves as followers of Jesus, but when we sense God has actually given us opportunities to live it out, we're often hesitant, uncertain, and tempted to look the other way. It's like we have these dueling voices in our head and heart. One voice telling us to help, and the other voice giving us every excuse in the book not to help. You don't have time for this. Don't be fine. Someone else will stop and help. See, intuitively, we all know that obeying Jesus is going to cost us something. Time, money, embarrassment, something. But by doing nothing, we can save ourselves all of that. And life moves on comfortable and predictable, at least for us. Is it any wonder that our spiritual life feels so beige, more religious than alive? We wrestle with God over a small daily request, and yet most of us still dream of doing great things for Him someday. But the truth is, godly character is shaped less by our big dramatic decisions than it is by the cumulative impact of thousands of small acts of simple obedience, largely in obscurity. So how do we get better at saying yes to these promptings the Holy Spirit is giving us? Years ago, I began living by the 10-second rule. Just do the next thing you're reasonably certain Jesus wants you to do, and do it immediately before you change your mind. In my book, The 10-Second Rule, I share all kinds of stories about people who are courageously living by the rule and the amazing impact that it's had on their faith journey and on the lives of those they've helped. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, and so will yours. Just do the next thing you're reasonably certain Jesus wants you to do, 